Hello everyone and good afternoon or good evening and very warm welcome to today's session on streamlining application management and boosting security with Foronix Cloud Deploy. My name's Tom in the product team at Foronix. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, very happy to be with you today. Um, if you have any questions, please just pop them in the Zoom chat and we can pause for questions at the end of the session, which will probably take around about 15 minutes. So I'm going to start with this picture I took on holiday, partly because I'm quite proud of the picture, but also because the title of today's session is about streamlining. So as IT managers dealing with application management, this is what we're aiming for. This dolphin is progressing totally smoothly through the ocean. It doesn't look stressed at all. If you're finding application management a bit of a hassle, but you want to swim like this dolphin, then this is the right session for you. Excuse me. So when we're talking about software updates, software updates are really important for a few different reasons. Uh, the most important reason is depicted there by that picture of that wide open window. That is the wide open window you are leaving to hackers if you are not regularly and consistently updating your applications. Software vendors ship updates all the time. <laughs> Software updates ship uh, so, sorry, software vendors ship updates all the time for the purpose of closing security vulnerabilities. So they're identifying those vulnerabilities all the time and delivering fixes. When those fixes are delivered, you want those updates live in your environment as soon as possible. If you, if you leave a gap, a long gap between an update being available and it being live in your environment, then that is a big wide open window that hackers can exploit and do exploit all the time. There's also bugs in, in all software and all software manufacturers are continually fixing bugs. So from an efficiency and a productivity point of view, the earlier you get your software updates live, the fewer bugs you're going to have. And also, um, there's newer and better features being launched all the time. So often those features are going to be really important, are going to make life easier for your team. Uh, so you want them available to use as soon as they're available. And then sometimes you have compatibility issues between different versions of software and those compatibility issues are often solved by software updates. So this is really why we're updating, why it's important to update software. Um, and the more automated this process can be made, the better. So just to set the context, there was recently a serious vulnerability uncovered, uncovered in Log4j. So that's an open source logging library used by all kinds of apps and services across the world. Most software includes some form of ability to log, and Log4j is a typical component used to achieve this. So most organizations were exposed to this vulnerability, but they were often exposed to this vulnerability for a lot longer than they needed to be, because once fixes were issued, they still had to be implemented. So unless the software was updated straight away, the vulnerability remained. That's one example, but there are many more examples why, just examples that show why it's important to keep software fully updated across your estate. This is an example of a hack resulting from software that wasn't updated. So 
organizations that don't automate and centralize their software updates, they're opening them up, opening themselves up to a lot of risk that really is not necessary. And also those IT departments are going to be less efficient if they're not centralizing and automating their software updates. If software updates are things that take a lot of time for you, then I'm going to move on to the demo. I can show you how we can save a lot of time. And here's some more recent examples really showing that it happens all the time. Vendors are finding vulnerabilities all the time and patching them all the time. So if you're updating your computers manually, then often that means they just won't be updated at all. Uh, and, th and there's a high risk, high level of risk that something bad will happen. So just to introduce Pharonix a little bit. So we've been around uh, since 1996, so a long time now. Since 1996, we've sold more than 12 million licenses in more than 150 countries. And we have 33,000 customers around the world, big, small, medium, and tiny. And we have become a world leader in the field of security. Our headquarters are in Vancouver, in Canada, and we have offices in the UK, that's where I am, and in the USA and in Singapore. That's where most of the product development happens, um, but we have fantastic partners all over the world, and those partners work with us to provide really exceptional service. So wherever you happen to be, there's going to be someone near you who can look after you. So, for example, I think, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of people on today's call uh, from the Philippines. So hello, everyone in the Philippines. Your reseller, IP Systems, will be more than happy to help you out. <laughs> and Australia. Um, hello, everyone in Australia. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Aussie Telecom, our reseller there, worked with us for a very long time. Um, we'll, we'll provide you with exceptional customer service and we'll be able to help you with whatever you need. So just moving on to the live demo of Pharonix Cloud Deploy. So on this applications page, I can immediately at, at one glance see what, where I've got up-to-date software, out-of-date software. So the, the black color here means that um, Microsoft Edge is up-to-date on this machine, but here it's out-of-date on this machine. And I've got these <clears throat> three buttons at the top here, install, uninstall, and update. So here, for example, I can see that Chrome is not installed on this device. So I can just hit install, and that's going to install Chrome on that device. Um, maybe I don't want Edge on that device, uh, so I can just uninstall Edge. Um, and maybe um, here I've got Opera out date on this device. I just select that and update. So these three buttons make life extremely easy. So you can update an application um, just with one click. As regards which apps are available um, under this Winget app uh, menu, there's more than 1800 apps available. Um, so it's very, very likely that um, whatever your application is, that it's going to be um, it's going to be listed here. Um, it's a massive list of applications that you can add to your grid and then really easily update. Um, but suppose it happens that you have some unusual software that isn't in that list, then you can create your own custom app here. So, so long as you can populate these details here, then you can add whichever apps you like and manage them from the cloud console. Um, so here I can see the custom apps that I've added um, and I can just um, update and uninstall these custom apps. Um, and I can also execute custom scripts. So, uh, if I can um, write um, a PowerShell script, a VB script, a batch script, or an executable, um, 
then I can add those uh, scripts to my grid. And here are my custom scripts that I've created. And it's really easy just to, I'm just going to select that and run that script from here. Um, so, so it's a very powerful grid. Um, the custom scripting functionality really basically allows you to do anything. Um, but you always know what version of what software you're running and where, and it's really easy to update as you go. But it's also really easy to schedule updates, um, which may be preferable uh, to reduce your risk uh, to the minimal point. Um, so if I have a look at the policy, If I was to create a new Windows policy under applications, so here are my applications, um, and for each one I can decide. Um, I can I can hit this tick this column here for automatic update, so that would update the application whenever an update is available, or the manual update, uh, which would not automatically update the application. So in that case, I can do it like I, I just showed you on the grid. Or I can schedule an update. Uh, so that will allow me to set a uh, date and time to run an application update. Or I could select version freeze. So this is just going to prevent any further updates from being downloaded and uninstalled um, for that application. And then I've also got these other options. Uh, maybe I want to disable shortcuts. Uh, so the shortcuts will no longer be usable, but you still will be able to access the application from the Windows Start menu and File Manager. And disable auto update. Um, so that would prevent automatic updates from being performed on the application. So those are the options with um, how to set my application updates to run. And um, I've also got um, reports that I can run. Um, so if I want to see how my applications are being used. So this application usage report um, will show me total usage, number of computers, number of users, number of logins. So um, there's a whole set of reports available in Phronix and dashboards in Phronix Cloud Deploy that's going to allow you to um, keep on top of how your devices are being used and, and by whom and when. So that's how application updates work in Deploy. Um, but really, um, everything I've spoken about there also applies to Windows updates. Uh, so on the Windows updates page, you can see, again, you, you always know what version you're running and where. And you can um, approve, approval, and deny for each category of Windows updates. Um, so, so I can do it by, by category if I want. Um, these have already been approved, so I can't approve them, but if I had, um, new windows updates to approve, then I could do so here. Um, we've got this button here in the top, right? Install all updates, um, and patch scan. Um, so Again, this is the way of this grid is a really easy way of doing it. One click actions if you want to do it on demand on an ad hoc basis, uh, but you can also schedule in your policy. So just having a look at the policy from the Windows update point of view. Um, for each category of update, you can choose to, to install automatically or you can defer for a custom number of days, or you can deny. Um, and then you've got quite a few other options around how you want your Windows updates to behave. And you can set um, as many policies as you like. So if you have, if you want certain behavior with, I don't know, in one location and 
different different behavior in a different location, then that's really easy to set up. So we use that phrase, one platform, total control. Um, and really that is um, because we, we allow you total control of what's happening in your environment. It's a really easy to use web-based console. Wherever you are, wherever your devices are, you can manage everything really easily. You can automate your software updates. You can shut that security window. It's just one URL you're accessing your devices with. You're not needing to maintain a server. So patch management um, is the subject of today's webinar, but it's really only one of a number of steps that you can take to protect yourself against threats. Um, we've also got an antivirus module within Deploy, and that's a really powerful layer of protection. Um, and then loads of other really helpful tools in the toolkit for an IT manager. Uh, so iOS image deployment, um, if imaging is something that takes a long time, um, again, that's really easy. That intuitive um, approach, friendly UI, really easy to work out what you need to do and, and to carry out those one-click actions. Um, so you can save a lot of time on imaging. Um, and also inventory. Um, you can, you're always going to know um, what hardware you're running. So so really what I was spoke, talking about there with software applies to hardware. Um, any information you need about your hardware um, is available in one auto refreshing grid and you can therefore make really good decisions about your, your life cycle. Um, so there's lots of other things here on this page that um, you can do with Pharonix. Um, so please let us know um, or, or let your reseller know if there's anything else you're interested in and we'll be very happy to schedule a separate call. So there's a free trial available um, if you want to test this for yourself. Just need to go to phronics.com, click through to deploy and sign up for free trial. And then it's just a case of uh, putting the cloud agent on your endpoints. And then you once that cloud agent is on the endpoints, then you can manage them uh, from the cloud console. You can start the trial, test it out for yourself. So I'm just going to leave this QR code on the screen. Um, if you would like a more detailed demo, just scan that QR code. Um, it'll only take 15 minutes of your time, um, but we can talk about your specific situation and how we can help you from an application management point of view. Um, so thank you very much for your time today. Um, lovely, lovely talking to you. Um, and we'll catch you on the next webinar, um, which is in September. And that's going to be all about how you can save money um, in your IT department and, and cut your costs down. All right. Thanks very much. Um, lovely to be with you today. And we'll see you on the next webinar. Bye bye.